So I'm Naama, I live in the United States. I decided to go and do the egg freezing uh, to preserve my fertility and also to have the option later on whenever I decide to start a family. I've been thinking about it for about two years and did my research online with my best friend who's also still thinking about it. Um, and um, yeah, I decided to go with Czech Republic and Gynam Clinic uh, seemed to be the, the best option. I decided to do it really as an option. Um, I could be pregnant tomorrow, I can meet someone tomorrow and just have a baby naturally, but I'd like to have that option that I know that I did that and, and in my best years, I got ready for it, I worked out, I ate, uh, ate healthy, still am healthy, um, so prepared for my best eggs and just having an option out there, having an insurance. Also, given my, my age, I mean, I'm 38, but I don't look my age and I tend as well to maybe hang out with a younger crowd of people. I don't know if my future husband will be my age younger or older, but I think I, sometime if I, I'm, I'm still not getting any younger. So to have that option there, it's also, it's an option that's not gonna freak out any person that's my age or younger to be with me and think, okay, her clock is ticking. I, I have to give her a child now. I mean, actually, in two years will be nice. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just to have that dating experience, just, yeah, I'm old, but I'm not. I have a lot of people who didn't know about it, and I'm very um, open to talk to anyone about it. And I told everyone, my friends, my family, strangers, and they all, they, they're surprised, but more uh, curious. They didn't know about the egg freezing option and how I didn't know how easy it was until I got there and did the whole process. But I think there's a misconception on it, maybe because it's still a medical procedure. But it was, it was such an easy and smooth experience for me. I would do it again. I actually wanted to do a second batch <laughs> right away to have more eggs frozen. I don't feel ashamed at all. I think it's a beautiful thing. It's, it's, a, it's a natural, even if some people can call it unnatural because it's it's done in laboratory, laboratory, but uh, it's uh, it's my egg, it's my body, and I was, it was actually an amazing feeling, especially when I was in, into the treatment, the pre-stimulation. I don't know, I've never been pregnant, but I felt that I was connected to my body. My mood, but not so much my mood, it was more of a bliss moment where I know I was, my body was reacting to those hormones, and I felt that I was truly of a woman and a mother and my body was responding not that I ever doubt that there was a woman or a mother a mother I'm not but that I would be able to give birth one day because it is working I have all these follicles that are growing inside me and then at the end when they retrieve eight eggs I was I was just really happy about that it's just beautiful experience. So I uh, found the, the website of Gynan Clinic, uh, sent an email. I had a coordinator who uh, replied pretty pretty quickly uh, through email and then we had a, a phone conversation. So I had a consultation on Skype uh, with the doctor uh, who answered all of my questions. And uh, from there, just stay in contact with my coordinator to figure out the scheduling, my, my just my own schedule and decide when would it be a good time for me to to come over. After the consultation, when I decided of the dates, I was just taking care of myself. I started, I was, I was, I already started taking prenatals, um, working out, eating healthy, because I know that's the moment two months before, and that was my, my timing. That's when you, your body is, far, it, it's going to do the best eggs in two months. So I was, I was already on board. Uh, and from there, Whenever my, the dates were a little closer, I got in touch with the coordinator. Uh, she suggested a few ac accommodations, where to go, what to do in Prague. And yeah, whenever I got there, I was a little jet lagged the first night. Um, I got my appointment the next day. It was pretty quick. What I really like is my appointment at uh, Gynam Clinic. The time that they gave me was the actual time. I was there at nine, for example. I was seen at nine and I was out at 9.30. It's not like that in the USA. Even for a simple consultation or a simple doctor's visit, urgent care, I mean, urgent care is urgent care. Everything takes more than two hours. It's crazy. So I really like the efficiency they had. And yes, I did have my uh, coordinator with me the whole time to translate <laughs> and also to make sure that I understand all the process. Um, 
so yeah, it was just easy. So the paperwork was mostly about um, when can I use my eggs, uh, until what age, um, and then it was about the treatment as well, the, the day, so it's based on the menstruation cycle. So I had to, I, I, in advance, I wanted to come just to catch up on sleep and, and jet lag. So I was, I was a little early uh, in Prague just to be prepared. And then uh, you start the treatment uh, on your second day of your menstruation cycle. So I just, just was waiting for my, uh, my cycle to start basically for maybe 10 days, two weeks. I did provide from uh, the doctor in the US, I did my AMH uh, testing, the blood test uh, to see the levels uh, and also an ultrasound. And that was done a few months prior. And then when I got there on my first uh, clinic appointment at Gynam, I, um, I had a, a general blood testing just to check that everything was, was fine. It was entirely my decision. Um, my best friend was talking to me about it and told me about it. And we started the research two years ago. She told me about a needle and I'm like, OK, I'm out. <laughs> I don't want to do this if it's if there's a needle uh, involved. And then, yeah, two years later, I'm not getting any younger. So I research more. And I think at some point I just just had to take a leap of faith and just do it. On my first um, appointment, I after I got my my blood drawn for the testing, I was instructed on how to self do the self injection myself uh, the nurse actually was really nice to let me try but also film the whole thing so that I I can review it and really see the protocol and be comfortable when the days come um, so yeah they I purchased um, all the medication at once for the first few days uh, got home I am just making sure to put it in the fridge and again waiting for my cycle and when the cycle they came in it's I was a little nervous. It was something that was that one thing that um, that was wor I was worried about. I never did any self injection myself, but the needle was fairly small. I never felt it like I was pushing a needle through my skin. It was so thin that it would just introduce itself into my skin. And I was my best friend was talking to me uh, the whole time um, on um, on on my phone. And she was telling me, just think about your babies. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's easy to say, but actually it did help. I know why, the reason why behind it, it really helps. It was only for seven days, I believe. Um, it, was not, it was not as difficult as I thought. The, the needle, I had a few tricks I learned at the very end. I took a warm shower right before, so my pores were a little more open and it was, it was, it was so easy. I wonder why I didn't do it a little <laughs> earlier. I didn't have any side effects whatsoever. My menstruation uh, PMS <laughs> are much worse than that. I didn't feel, and I, I, I was not moody, um, didn't feel tired, not bloated, no, no flatulence, <laughs> no, um, yeah, just, just truly a beautiful experience. It took me about a month for the whole thing and I did it on purpose because I did have the time and I had that luxury to take some time off I to, to come here in Prague and I wanted to have not only a rested mind and body to be able to do the self injections and I was ready for the side effects which I didn't have any and then and also for after just to make sure that I don't know I just wanted some extra time and I it took it took a month but truly if my cycle was because I was taking birth control for before and I didn't know when I would start my cycle. That's why I wanted to come early. But when you know your cycle, it takes not even two weeks. After all of the pre-stimulation, um, the day of the surgery is pretty quick. I had my appointment at 7.20. I remember at 8, I was in the operation room and I woke up at 9 or 9.30. I don't remember now. But it was, it was pretty quick and a pain-free surgery. I didn't wake up with any soreness or I had maybe mild, very mild cramps, but nothing compared to what I have every month. I did spend maybe an hour. After I woke up, it took an hour for me to make sure that I can just be able to walk and have my mind straight. And then I just took a, a Uber home. For before the surgery, after midnight, I couldn't drink any water 
and not eat anything, of course. So waking up, I was having all my friends. Uh, they all knew about the surgery day, especially my best friend, um, who woke me up at the time that I asked her. And I was already awake. I was so, um, so pumped and so confident about the day that would come in. Yes, I had this moment when I got into this um, operation room where it was a bright light, there were a few nurses and anesthesiologists that were there, all female. They all speak Czech, only Czech. I didn't see one familiar face and then the light dimmed and then I saw the doctor. He was not supposed to be available that day, but he managed somehow, my coordinator told me, he managed to, to get to be there and I, I, I was I was so I, I got emotional because I was I was I was just happy about that moment, but I was also freaking out because it was just a, just different. Seeing the doctor, uh, it really helped me relax, and I told him that it's okay, I'm 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 all good because all of the nurses they saw that I had like some tears and they thought something was wrong, and I said right away, no no no, I'm just a little nervous, but I'm I'm happy. And then they all rubbed my shoulders, and that was the beautiful moment to see that. They're human beings and they care and they see me as well as, yeah, a, a, a human being. I'm super happy with the result. I have uh, seven mature eggs and one premature, so eight total. And I'm, I just can't wait to come back and, uh, and finish the whole process whenever I found the right person. Maybe here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited. I really thought of doing another round just to have even more eggs and a family and a football team as a <laughs> babies just really to have more because it was it was so easy so I'm actually thinking about coming back um, and also to to talk about all my friends that have so many questions I did put all the process on social media and close social media to the, my friends only uh, just so they see the process and that it's yeah I also did a podcast where I was recording um, right before the self-injection, I, I was just recording how anxious I was and what happened and it was actually easy and then there was another needle that was a little thicker and, and then that's when I, I found the trick about the, the shower. So yeah, it's, it's great, it's part of me, it's an experience and I would do it again. Beautiful thing is, I can tell that my future children, if I, if I use them, will be conceived in Prague and Prague is such a romantic city. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to know it was in a laboratory, <laughs> but actually, yeah, it would be conceived here. <laughs> the procedure is done and I'm leaving in two days. I just feel confident. I have those babies in the fridge. My investment, in a way, is maybe not the right term to say, but I, I'm just overall confident and I can relax in my, my personal life. And, but also because of, I know again it's an option, it's there, and it was, it was just an amazing experience. I got to discover one of the most beautiful city here, and I know I will be back. I will definitely recommend Kainem, and that's why I know I will be back, because they will be taken care of. I mean, they wouldn't need me. I will go out. This time I'll go out and drink alcohol <laughs> and go to all the, the clubs. From the beginning to the end, it was an amazing experience. I've been taken care of. I didn't have to worry about anything. And yeah, it was an all-inclusive medical uh, resort. <laughs>